I get inquiries all the time about uh, solar storms, EMPs, things like that. Just comments and a couple PMs and um, and I know I did a video uh, a few years back about it and uh, this is just going to be a precursor to uh, some videos I got up and coming and um, I'm going to appreciate your input on uh, you know the interest and what you guys would like to know and uh, what's EMP proof and things like that and I'm just going to kind of go through a couple of things not much information here but uh, just kind of telling you uh, what I do for it. Now these are my uh, I guess a lot of people like to call them Faraday cages they're actually not they're uh, what's called a hardened cabinet or something to protect from uh, a solar storm or an EMP and uh, and I'll kind of go into uh, what I have in them or most of it anyway and uh, how I got it set up of course uh, Nikolai Tesla was uh, a genius and um, the uh, information on this stuff is very limited now one thing I don't like to do is to uh, fear monger uh, make people scared and um, uh, some people would lead you to believe that everything that runs on electricity is gone period and uh, that's simply not true uh, a lot of this stuff is a a lot tougher than you think. Um, however, uh, you know NASA, not uh, not some crazy guy on uh, online. NASA themselves, uh, they give it a one in ten chance in the next ten years that we're going to have a pretty significant solar flare, and um, that may not be good. Now, just to try to share some information and not just leave this as uh, you know what's to come. Uh, batteries, absolutely. EMP proof, solar storm, etc. Um, solar panels, pretty good, but uh, some of this stuff may not be, and uh, I keep spares. And I'll also, uh, I need your input on uh, whether you guys are interested in this, and uh, try to uh, pick my brain on what I know through videos, of course. I suck at typing and things like that, but um, I choose diesel fuel as my. Uh, backup uh, fuel source to back up the solar and uh, for good reason uh, a lot of the diesel engines are 100% uh, EMP proof and um, I'll try to do a video on the generator itself and what those heating ports at the bottom do and, and just some of the stuff that I geek out on I guess and on the same token I'll go into the uh, cars uh, both gas and diesel of course I choose diesel and um, what's uh, what's EMP proof or solar storm proof and what's not. Now obviously if you're planning on having uh, electricity or you're trying to preserve that way of life uh, one of the questions would be uh, how about refrigerators and freezers. I can tell you right now that uh, most uh, chest freezers, simple ones, um, will be fine and some refrigerators but not all. And if there were a massive power disruption. Anybody ever thought about clocks? How are many of these around anymore? They actually wind up. Think about it. Not that I know anything about clocks. What would I know about a clock? To tell you the truth, I actually don't know hardly anything about a clock, watch, anything like that. Now I don't want to do a video without any information at all in it. Uh, to make a really quick, easy, quick Faraday cage, take an ammo box, doesn't matter what size it is, of course this one's full of ammo, take a, you know, die grinder, sandpaper, whatever, get rid of all this paint all the way around, peel out this rubber gasket, and then take, like, bronze wool, that's the best one, and actually put it where the gasket would be, hot glue it in there, and you got yourself a real Faraday cage. Just line it with cardboard, spray some undercoating in there, whatever. Um, put your walkie-talkies, uh, whatever it is you want to preserve. Um, super easy, um, tried and true. So let me know uh, what you guys like to see. Um, obviously, I'm not uh, proclaiming to be an expert of any by any means. I do have uh, somewhat of an extensive uh, electrical background. Uh, definitely diesel engines, uh, aircraft. And um, I just, uh, this is all opinion, of course. Uh, one thing I'm trying not to do is to do any fear monger. And uh, 
one uh, channel that I think is fantastic if you want to moder uh, monitor uh, solar activity is uh, a channel, YouTube channel called uh, Sus Suspicious Observers. Fantastic. I'll uh, try to put a uh, link in the description box. But um, awesome. Like three minute videos. He puts them up every day. But uh, anyway, let me know what the interest is and uh, I'll see if I can get this stuff out to you. Now, one thing to remember, this is uh, nothing new to me. You know, I do live in a hurricane prone area. Um, but, you know, I do pay attention. Um, and I know some of the books can freak you out. Some of them get me too, but I try to uh, go on real information. Uh, I actually read uh, One Second After on a 17 hour flight to uh, Dubai. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it freaked me out. But, uh, you know, who knows?